literally seven days, one week away from today, Diablo Immortal is going to be released and you want to know about where, when, times, devices, capabilities, and even controllers. Today, I'm going to be going through the blog post just released by Blizzard, telling you all of that information. Diablo Immortal, your roadmap to hell. This is the blog post that was put together by Blizzard and released today, depending on when you're watching this. I will be editing this one myself. It will not be sent out just so I can get it out in a bit more of a timely fashion for you guys. But we're going to be looking through this today and kind of looking at zones, times, etc. like we spoke of before. I'm going to be linking this down below if you want any of the information, if you want to read through it yada yada you get it but this is what we have here today the launch schedule preloading for pc installation and play instructions how to set up cross play customer community support community customer support and so on so let's talk about the launch schedule first there is a guide and you're going to see that right here showing where this is releasing on the second now for me i am in eastern standard time new york specifically actually so 1 p.m edt i will be able to play this this game it's going to be available for me in the store to download and play and by the way i will be i will be live streaming my experience in diablo immortal both here on youtube as well as on my twitch if you don't follow me on Twitch, make sure you do. The links are all over the place, part of my link tree down below, so you can watch it. But take a look right here. See where you are on the map and get an idea of when it's going to be available for you to start playing. Because really, you want to get in as quickly as you can. But you got to be careful because you don't want to jump in too soon before you pick a proper server. Because you may want to play with your friends. So we're going to talk about that here today as well. And this is pretty cool, because right now you can preload Diablo Immortal onto your PC. This is something we don't need to do on mobile, but if you want to play on PC, I believe it's around 25 gigs to get it preloaded, ready to go, so that when the time is for you to actually play the game, you'll be available to jump right in, maybe a quick update, and you'll be ready to go on PC. Because you could play Diablo Immortal on PC. I know you already knew that. Now we have some installation and play instructions. Some of this is obvious, other stuff not as much. The main thing we need to focus on here is that your Diablo Immortal account is directly linked to your Battle.net account. All right, so what this means is if you are playing on a phone and then on a tablet and then on the PC, you will need to be connected to Battle.net. Don't try and jump from one to the other because your account will not follow you with anything but a Battle.net ID. So you're going to need to make sure that you set that up properly so you don't lose any of your progress. You have your PC set up, your Android and iOS. Essentially, your Android and iOS are just going to tell you how you would typically download a mobile game, right? All of us mobile gamers, we've done this before. We know it. it's, it's like second nature. But for some of you that may not be into the mobile gaming scene, here is how you would do that. It's easier than on the PC. But again, you still need to have that Battle.net login, especially if you also want to participate in purchases, the Battle Pass, things like that. All that is synced through your Battle.net account. Reiterating that again, they are even dropping that in the blog post as well. So make sure that you do that because again, you don't want to wind up grinding for five hours, even spending some money, then playing it somewhere else and just kind of messing up your progression, wasting your time because it is just just that. It's a waste of your time. Now, people are going to run into issues. People aren't going to know what to do. You guys can always come t here to the YouTube video and ask in the comments section, or you can come through our community, which is the Scrappy Echoes. The Discord link is down below and you could ask any questions. If you're having problems playing the game, loading the game, something's not working, our community not only is clanmates, it's a community server for Diablo Immortal. If you have questions, concerns, or issues, come through the Discord, links down below. We have people ready to help you. If you don't want to, you have the Blizzard Forum, the Blizzard Twitter, and a customer support portal as well for any issues you may encounter. Now, let's go. We'll see you in hell, as Blizzard says. Now, this is the big one. Which servers will be available to play for my region? 
you see all of the different regions is more down below as well which we will scroll through but all of these servers are named something pretty unique so let's i mean we got we got kanai eternal crown deckard kane zoltan cool i love how the names of the servers have to do with diablo moral it's just nice now there's multiple ways that you can choose a server that you want to play on you could choose one just by its cool name and notice there's like 30 plus servers for each of the uh, north america regions and you have a whole bunch for the other regions here as well on the right you got europe east asia uh, Korean, East Asia, Japanese, Portuguese. When we scroll down even more, we have SA Spanish, Europe French, Europe German, Europe Spanish, Europe Italian, Europe Polish, and Oceania, which is essentially um, Australia. So make sure you choose a server that you're going to want to spend a lot of time in because as of right now, upon launch of the game, you cannot change servers. This is a feature that they're thinking about, and I actually watched Nemo's video talking about this as well on the Scrappy Academy channel. He even mentioned they talked about merging servers if servers ever started to dry up. That's something I don't actually recall, so thank you, Nemo, for that information, which I'm now sharing with you guys. So when you're in a server, so so right now, if I were to choose North America East, because that's where I live, Sin War, that will be my, as of right now, lifetime server. I can't move. I don't want to rely on Blizzard making it so I can move, although I do believe this is a feature they're going to add and change in the future. But for now, I can't. So make sure you choose the server that is in your region so you're going to get the best connection. And even more importantly, choose the server that your friends, your clanmates are going to be playing on. If you're with us, if you're part of the Scrappy Echoes, we are putting out a post on Discord letting you know what servers we will be playing on. If you're in a different server, we can't play together. There's no cross-server play at this point in time. So make sure you take your time, you choose carefully, and you have a server where you're gonna be able to play, stay, and enjoy. And languages, because people from all over the world are playing uh, I mean, I was surprised to see the length of this list. Diablo Immortal language support includes Brazilian Portuguese, English, European Spanish, French, German, Italian, Japanese, Korean, Polish, Spanish, and traditional Chinese. Another great thing we're learning here from the blog post is which controllers can you use when you play Diablo Immortal? You have Windows when you're playing on Windows, the wired controllers, all of the options. I personally love Xbox controllers. But that's just a personal preference. We have Windows Bluetooth controllers, options there as well. iOS devices, what can we hook up to our iPhones? I am an iOS device user, what can I play on? And your Android devices, what can you play on? What controllers? The list is here. If you want to play it safe and use a controller or pre-purchase a controller that's going to work and you know is going to work, get something that's on the list. It's just the smartest way to go. Now a few questions that we're going to address. How many adventurers may be in one clan and how many characters can my clan consist of? And they reply, each clan may consist of 100 adventurers. So 100 people per clan. When you name your brave band of demon slayers, it's up to you, burying any profanity, of course. But it must be between 2 and 24 characters in length. So kind of keep that in mind, Scrappy Echoes. We fit right in there, no issue. Next question, what will happen to my progress and purchases in the PC open beta? When the PC leaves the open beta, this is great, because remember, the PC version is still in an open beta. It's not officially launched. All of your progression will follow you. All of your purchases will follow you as well. Nothing to be concerned about. Now, this one, the next one was odd, if you ask me. Which devices support ultra graphical settings for Diablo Mortal? Now, in Diablo Mortal, there was a setting where you can go to ultra graphics, the higher end, the one that was, you know, heating up phones and stuff like that. Never was an issue. It just made your phone run a little hotter. Um, ultra graphical settings for Diablo Mortal will only be available on PC and select iPad devices. I found that surprising. First of all, that it was only iPad devices and not iPhones as well, but also no, no Androids either. I could have sworn that I played it on Ultra on my phone, which was the iPhone 11, but I could totally be wrong and mistaking there. 
Uh, we're gonna have to test it out, but as as this is saying, PC and select iPads, which are probably the highest end iPads, are what you're gonna be able to play ultra settings for the best graphical experience inside Diablo Mortal. But remember, even if you don't have that device, Diablo Mortal still looks beautiful on your other devices. And then of course, as we've spoken of in a previous video, we have our minimum requirements per PC, your minimum specs for your Android devices and iOS requirements as well. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope that you're excited for Diablo Immortal. Let me know down below if you can't wait for more Diablo Immortal. If you want, hashtag more Diablo Immortal and subscribe to the channel and ring the bell for regular Diablo Immortal videos. Have a great day, guys, and be good.